What's up guys? So here we go. Here's that other vintage kit I was telling you guys about. Now this one right here is the Family Permapack Survival Kit. This thing is huge man. It stands at like two feet tall and weighs about eight pounds and it's huge. I have my um, my tripod raised all the way up to the top just to get over to the top of it and as you can see it's kind of rusty but you can see in the front overview that um, the wrappers coming off too. This thing is old. It's very vintage from 1950s. Um, the outside on the sides isn't really rusty. Hopefully the inside's not too bad. Let's see what's inside. I kind of got a little look at the at the um, label, but like I said, this thing is uh, very old, so the the wrapper on it's pretty much deteriorated. So let's try to pop this sucker open and see what's inside, guys. Let's not waste any time. And I put on a rubber glove because I don't know what kind of stuff we're going to get into. And I'm going to try to use a spoon to pop this top. Oh, this sucker is real. All right, guys, I finally got this sucker popped open. I had to use the spoon and get some good leverage on it. It opened like a paint can, just like I thought. Holy cow, you guys. As soon as I opened this thing, just the odors that came out of this is just unbelievable. And as you can tell, the inside is spotless, so that's a good sign. So, right off the bat, they got some newspaper here. Now I'd imagine I'd use this newspaper as some kindling for a fire. Obviously that's their thought too. And I put a rubber glove on because I don't know what kind of nightmare I'm going to get into, guys. So let's start uh, taking this stuff out one piece by piece. Alright, well check it out. Directions for making aluminum cooking kettle. <laughs> Pretty cool. They give you instructions on how to make an aluminum cooking kettle. That is freaking awesome. Pretty slick right there, guys. <laughs> what other papers they got here? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, well check it out. They have... They have an actual um, survival kit concentrated foods list. Shows you what breakfast and uh, dinners and everything else you should be eating and how to prepare some of this stuff. Still have not seen a date. Wow, the smell coming out of this thing, guys. Insanity. All right, well, what do we have in here, guys? All right, well... Obviously, I think uh, most of the stuff that we're going to get out of here is going to be stuff that needs to be prepared with water. But I see butterscotch carry pack instant pudding. Four generous servings. Wow. That is crazy, man. Check that out. That is so old. I wish I could find... I'm hoping to find something with a date on it. Even this newspaper. I wonder if this newspaper has a date. That's a good one. We'll look at that newspaper later, guys. Holy cow, look at this, man. Fruit Galaxy. That is crazy. That looks so old. It looks like raisins with sugar inside. Looks like the sugar separated. I'm not even sure, guys. This is super duper old. But how cool is that? A bag of raisins. What do we got here? Wow, this is just unbelievable. There it is, guys, 1958. We got a date on something, man, 1958. This is a 50s survival kit. And this is a Borden Super Starlack Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk. And I see a bunch of them in here. There's one, two, and they feel pretty decent. Three. Four. Five. And six. Six packs of instant dry milk. Wow, check it out. Carry pack camp stew. 
That is really crazy, man. Permapack dehydrated camp stew, protein fortified. It actually looks pretty decent. I'm really shocked. That is just, wow. I am just flabbergasted with some of the stuff in here. Check that out. Diced carrots. That is crazy. Wow. Guys, this is still soft. I can't even believe it. Look at that. Applesauce mix. Applesauce mix. How do you make this? Add contents to a bag of three and a half cups of water. So I think what this kit is lacking is water. So most of the stuff in here is going to be dehydrated of some sort. Look at that. Look at that wrapper, you guys. When is the last time you saw a carnation hot chocolate with a wrapper like that? I mean, I haven't, but I remember seeing it. That is just nuts. It's soft. I mean, it feels like it's fresh. All right, what else? I took off the glove, guys. This stuff is all really fresh. I thought it was going to be a nightmare in here. This stuff is all good. Look at this, guys. Check that out. Instant mashed potatoes. How cool is that, man? This can, this meal, this kit is in mint condition, man. I am so shocked. And look at the inside, guys. It's nice and clean in there. Wow. Check that out. Chicken rice dinner. Huh. That is crazy. I mean, even the powder in there is still soft. I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to have a continuation, and I might have to fire some of this stuff up. This is a huge kit, man. I can't even believe all this stuff in here. Oat cereal protein fortified. Look at oatmeal. Looks completely perfect, guys. I mean, look at that. That is amazing. More applesauce mix. Oh, wow. That is crazy, man. Pancake or biscuit mix. Wow. Now this looks, it still looks good, but it looks like it's kind of separated. Every, the contents have separated in there. What's this? Wow, instant syrup mix. That is really cool. I've never seen instant syrup mix before in my life. That is crazy. And I see that the wrapper's a little discolored there. I wonder if anything leaked. Wow. Instant pea soup. This thing is just loaded. Peaches. Dehydrated peaches. Bring it to a boil, reduce heat 15 minutes, add extra water. That's really cool, man. You add this to hot water. Awesome. Another pack of pancake or biscuit mix. This one looks a little bit worse than the last one. Another pancake and biscuit mix. And this one's even looking worse than the other ones. So as the deeper we get in here, it looks like something either spilt or this got discolored just from uh, being old. So this is a pantry pack, multi-purpose food. I'm not really sure what this is, guys. Okay, so it's like a toasted soy grits. So this is pretty much grits. Huh. Really huge portions, you guys. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Look at that, man. Scram dehydrated scrambled eggs. And it's soft. I mean, it's like powder still. I mean, it's, oh, wow. After I'm done um, bringing all this stuff out, guys, I'm going to lay it all out so you guys can see the amount. Check that out. One, two, three, four, six spoons, guys. Six permapack spoons. Oh, 
Okay, so chicken and rice soup, Weiler's chicken and rice soup. Now this looks like it's ripped a little bit right there. And it's a little hard on one side and soft out the other. But that is really cool. Oh, yep, look at that. See the wrapper? The wrapper separated. Put that one off to the side. What else we got in here? Yeah, see, now we're starting to get down to the bottom of this tin, guys. And some of this stuff is really hard. So I'm pretty sure that something leaked in here or just... The deeper it got, the worse things started looking. But Old Weiler's Lemonade. That is really old stuff right there, guys. Weiler's changed their wrappers so many times since then. I don't even know if Weiler's is still even in business. See, now this one's nice and soft. Yeah, this one's nice and soft, guys. This one right here is hard as a rock. But this one, you could probably mix that one up. It might be a little separated, but let's keep things going here. Now, here's some chicken noodle soup, and this one's half hard and half soft. Another Weiler's product, and that one's got a rip in it, guys. Maybe uh, from settling, from shipping, maybe. An orange Weiler's instant orange drink mix. Now, this one right here is nice and soft. And totally edible I'm sure but now as the lemonade this one right here is hard as a rock so I'm not really sure what the deal is with that and we're just going guys this thing just doesn't have an end <laughs> look at that preem new dairy product for coffee and tea so instant preem pasteurized and homogenized so this must be a creamer I would have to say a creamer And look at that, guys. Two more, two more drink mixes. And these are both hard as a rock, unfortunately. But cold cup drink mix. That's a strawberry and raspberry. Awesome, man. I mean, I would have loved to have had one of these a long time ago. Now we're into some uh, more Weiler's products. Instant gravy beef flavored. 1957. Wow. Guys, this is one heck of a uh, um, vintage item here. I mean, some of this stuff, I'm going to keep this stuff. It's so cool just to see it. It's so awesome. Wow, check this out. What the hell? Oh, wow, water purification tablets. That is really cool. That's a big port. 40 tablets of Halzone NF for uh, disinfecting water. And I don't know what's going on. I got some really nasty taste in my mouth from coming out of here. I don't know what the hell's in here, but. Oh, some more dairy creamer. More creamer. And more creamer. And. Check that out, guys. Another old school Carnation Instant Hot Cocoa Mix. Soft. I bet you it's really good. I'm gonna have to give that a shot, guys. We're gonna we're gonna check that one out. Here's another one. Soft as could be. So that's three I counted so far. And here's a fourth. Every single one of these held up. Not hard nothing looks like we're gonna score a couple more of those guys there's another one and here is another one three four one two three four five so there's six of these guys the yeah, sixth one i don't know where it is it's buried somewhere you know what i'm gonna we're gonna crack one of these open but you know what if you guys like old vintage stuff like this let me know in the comments below guys i'm gonna send four 
of these out to you guys as as a novelty slash collector's item. They do not make carnation hot chocolate like this anymore, guys. This is very old. You will never see these again. So I'm going to give them four of these away because that is really, that's an awesome souvenir right there, man. Leave a comment below, hot cocoa. You leave a comment below, hot cocoa, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Oh, wow. You got to be crapping me. Now I'm excited. Holy cow, guys, check this out. These are old. Holy cow. Guys, these are old vintage. Check that out. Can you see that? These are old vintage fuel tablet ration, he ration heaters. Let's check this out a little bit more. What are these? Pry under lid to remove cover than light. So these must be like a little alcohol stove, guys. Check that out, man. That is freaking cool. There's only three of them in here, but there's a bunch of other stuff. Let's, let's check that out. We're going to have to test some of this stuff out too, guys. Now, check this out. There's a couple of these in there, and I don't know what they are, but let's, let's find out. There's one there, one there, one there. So let's crack one of these open and see what's in there. I'm curious. So it's a cup. Huh. Check that out, guys. A freaking cup. If that isn't just the coolest shit i ever seen in my life. Four freaking drinking cups, man. Oh, oh, this one's cold. This one's full of stuff. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, we're not gonna do that one. We're gonna skip that one for now. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, that one's empty too. So I wonder, I really wonder what those are. I'm gonna try to look it up on the description what those are. Okay, so that one's empty too. So there's four of those little containers there. What the hell are they? They gotta be some kind of a drinking cup of some sort. But check this one out, guys. This one was loaded full of stuff. Let's check it out and see what's in here. Okay, so check that out, man. Some salt. Some more salt. A little rubber band. Guys, this there's two rubber bands. That is really cool, because you know what, guys? There's three rubber bands. I'm sorry. Hell, there might be a fourth rubber band, but check this out, guys. You, Everybody knows that a rubber band gets really dry rotted. This thing is like brand new. I can't even believe that. And then last but not least, America's favorite by far, Hunts. <laughs> check it out, man. Freaking book of matches. Isn't that awesome for those little alcohol stoves? All right, so... What else is in here? There's still something else in here, guys. All right, I see something else in here, and it is, last but not least, rye crisp whole rye crackers. A whole box of them, check that out, man. That is freaking awesome. Rye pizza. <laughs> Holy crap, man. And as you can see in here, check this out, guys. See that? You guys remember the first thing I took out of this bot out of this container? Here it is right here, guys. This is for making a, an aluminum cooking kettle. So they gave you the instructions and the piece of aluminum. That is freaking awesome. What else we got in here? That's it, guys. That's all of it. 
That is the coolest. That is the coolest right there. Giving us the material to make that. My hands are all full of stuff. Pretty interesting. That is awesome, guys. All right, so let's lay this all out and see what all came with this kit, guys. We're gonna get this container out of here. Let's see what those are. See, if you can see right here, I zoomed in, and you can see there's the wrapper right there. The wrapper will tell you what's in here. <laughs> yep, those are cups. Okay, now in here it says four spoons. They gave us six spoons, guys, six. So that's a misprint. Four spoons or six spoons. <laughs> All right, guys, let me clean up this mess, and we're going to... All right, guys, well, here it all is. The Permapack 72-hour family survival kit from 1957. I found some dates. 1957 is the date, so this is a 50s vintage survival kit, guys. A lot of this stuff in here was still in really good shape. One thing that I'm really impressed with are these little alcohol stoves. I cracked one open and check it out, man. This thing has still got plenty of fluid in it. I mean, it even smells like, you know, the fuel and everything. No, unfortunately, I'm in the house, so I'm not going to try to fire one of these up. But uh, what a cool freaking kit, man. This thing is so awesome. These are actually going to come in hand. I'm sorry, guys. I had to pound that cap back down. But who are these made by? Solo Works Incorporated out of Loveland, Ohio. Fuel tablet ration heating for use as small as fuel only. So there's three of them, guys, and I think I'm going to use these for some outdoor stuff here. I'm going to burn these up. The cups, totally impressed with the cups, guys. I really like them a lot. They're really cool. Nice little drinking cup. Now, there's creamer in here, but the one thing I'm not seeing anywhere is coffee. Where the hell is my coffee? If I'm, if I'm going to be in a survival situation, I want some damn coffee, right, guys? Plenty of hot cocoa, though. Remember what I said, guys, in, in uh, the earlier part of this video. I got six of these old vintage carnation hot chocolates. I'm going to give four of them away, guys. Hot cocoa. That's the key word. Hot cocoa. And I will send you one of these. This is one hell of a souvenir, man. Because carnation does not make it like this anymore. And these are still good. I mean, these are still good. But for the sake of time, I'm not even going to bother. Take my word for it. Um, some of this, I mean, 90% of this stuff I would not even attempt to eat, guys. A lot of it's separated. Um, you know, the grits. I don't like grits. I mean, I just, I don't know if I'd try any of this stuff. The tablets, they're, uh, they're pretty old. I don't even know if they even would activate or even help you anymore. Um, the Food Galaxy, separated pretty bad. Um, right here says, uh, add contents of bag to two, two-third cups of water. Bring to a boil and simmer for five to seven minutes, cool, and serve. Maybe you can get away with it because you get to cool it, you know, you're heating them. They're actually, these raisins are, uh, the Fruit Galaxy, soft, guys. It's soft. It's unbelievable. All this time. Now, on the tin, it says four spoons, and right here, I got six. So that, that's a misprint. Um... This, this kit seems to only want to serve four people, but I'm confused because there's only four cups, but there's six spoons. There's six hot chocolates. There's only four preems. Now, I'm not sure if that's that instant preem is coffee in there with the creamer and stuff. Not really too sure. Let's crack one open and check it out. Ooh. So it is just a creamer. It's got a 
Ooh, it's got an old vintage smell to it too. Holy cow, and I dropped it on my floor. Yuck. I would definitely not use this stuff, guys. It's definitely old and expired. I don't even think the Rye Crisp company's even in, in business anymore, guys. These are so vintage, man. I'm going to go show some of this stuff to my mom. She's 80 years old. She's probably going to flip a lid when she sees some of this stuff because this is stuff back when she was a kid. So, well, I mean, the instant milk, you know, that stuff's, not, you know, this one is actually kind of hard. This one's a little hard, but some of these other ones, soft. Very, very shocking, but um, here it is, guys. Here it is. Here's the kit, man. Very, very impressed with this kit. I could comfortably live off of this for 72 hours. Um, you know, the aluminum, piece of aluminum in there for making a kettle, awesome. That is freaking awesome. The, uh, the newspaper for Kindle, the matches, um, you know, the pancake mix, the eggs, the... Um, the freaking syrup, the instant mixable syrup. That stuff is all really super impressive stuff that you are not going to find in a kit anymore, guys. So, well, for the sake of time, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for sticking around. This was really fun and interesting. I'm going to stick all this stuff back into the tin, seal it up the best I can, and keep this as a souvenir, guys. This thing was not cheap to get. Um, obviously, I got it from... None other than MREMountain.com. Casey, I hope you enjoyed this. You wanted to know what was in this thing for so long. And now you know, my friend. And now everyone knows. So um, here it is, man. Permapack 72-hour survival kit review, guys. Vintage 1957. God bless. Go wild. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.